Great, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. And this is finally the final episode of the gray area. The CPU version. We only did two actually. <laughs> so what we have in line is the Intel Core i5 14600K. Of course, we got to add that in, even though I just added it. We have the Ryzen 7 7700. We have the Intel Core i5 13600K. We have the Ryzen 7 5800X3D. Now let's just get the 5800X3D out of the way. I have the 5800X3D myself, so I'm a bit biased. But is it justifiable to pay $350 on a CPU like that one, even if I have an informed socket? It's kind of crazy because you can get a Ryzen 7700 for around the same price, or you can get a 13600K for around the same price. But this would put me in a place, you know, aim for is end of life type of socket. So as the LGA 1700, which houses the 13600K slash 14600K why would i make the switch to intel 5800x3d is in a really embarrassing spot yeah if i decided to get the cpu from aliexpress for example it goes for 280 dollars usually goes for 290 it's on sale sometimes so it would make some sense to pay only 300 dollars for a cpu slash cooler but paying 350 dollars is a lot of money in my opinion even if i have the m4 socket in me so there's that when it comes to the 5800X3D, we're gonna talk more in terms of performance, what it is in a separate video because I have the CPU myself, you know? Let's just switch the focus to the other CPUs. We have the Ryzen 7 7700. It comes with a cooler for $300, a Wraith Aspire cooler that would just uh, do it just fine, you know? Uh, you wouldn't need any extra cooler next to that. And we have the Intel Core i5-3600KF, which goes for $250 right now. In my opinion, the 13600KF, if you can get it for $250, we're making this video at the time of Black Friday. So I don't know in 2024, what's the market going to be like, but there is nothing that can be the 13600KF in terms of pricing right now. $250 and you're getting a 2030 CPU that will go all the way up to an RTX 4080 with no bottlenecking and really great gaming performance. Damn, that's a lot of stuff, but there, you are paying a premium to that. You need really good cooler, air cooler, you know, like a thermal right peerless assassin. This CPU would run fine at 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. You cannot go under that. And it will do a lot of power draw because this is a 20 threaded CPU. So realistically, it should. So this is the caveats when it comes to the 13600K. So yeah, turn that around and just reverse it and you're getting the Ryzen 7 7700. So you're getting a CPU that's more future proofing the whole socket, AM5 socket, if you believe in that. You are having an only 65 watt TDP CPU. You are having a CPU that will not run as hot, you know, only limited to around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius on load. And DDR5, of course, but you can do that with a 7600K and around the same pricing. You can actually get it from AliExpress also for around $230, $240 and add a cooler next to that, which would give you a CPU for around the same price of the 13600K. What about gaming performance? They are identical. You can never mess up between both uh, options. So it's a matter of picking your poison. Would you go with the 13600K because you need the extra physical cores and threads? Or would you go with the Ryzen 7 7700 if you need the uh, future proofing? I myself would go with the Ryzen 7700. Um, I'm kind of biased to be honest uh, towards AMD. But they make really good chips and this is only a 65 watt TDP CPU so you gotta keep that in mind. And I'm not losing any type of performance and I guess 8 core 16 thread is more than enough for some cpus intensive applications but i understand why the 13600 kf is more intriguing to a lot of people for 250 dollars this is a tough uh, chip to beat in my opinion but taking it to the 14600k it's a really unnecessary cpu goes for 300 dollars right now uh, it performs around the same as the 13600k i don't know why would i go with it so yeah i could go with the 7800 x3d instead of for example yeah it's in a really uh, weird price tag in my opinion so yeah, there's that for the 4600K. Uh, I don't know why would you get a 4600K over a 3600K in general, you know? It's just made there to, you know, kind of a refresh, rebranded CPU. But it's the same at the 3600K in my opinion. So yeah, that's been it. If you like, it, press the like button. If you want to see with that, can't subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.